welcome to the disembodied voice part of this afternoon's a sunset safari where I narrate over one of our river cams here in the Masai Mara and in this case the main north river cam where as you can see a gathering of wildebeest has started on the banks it seems as though it's crossing time once again just a quick introduction because otherwise I'm going to continue well I'm going to continue to be a disembodied voice my name is Jamie and this afternoon I will be controlling the camera so if it you know suddenly veers off wildly off to the left or off to the right that is entirely my fault uh, what we're watching at the moment is pretty standard crossing behavior the wildebeest know they have to cross the river they also know that within the river there are crocodiles and in this case a grumpy hippo that is strutting along through and trying to show off just how big he is the hippo don't like the wildebeest particularly either and so as a result the wildebeest gather together on the banks looking somewhat terrified and eventually one of them will be brave enough to take the plunge which one is it going to be in this case or little internal skirmish there all of these herds gathered together lots of males lots of females and as a result the males tend to spend a lot of time fighting off rivals watch this hippo disappear it's astounding Now, Rita, you would like to know if the wildebeest signal to each other if there is danger around. Yes, by running away. That is essentially the way that they signal to each other, at least at the river crossings. When you're looking at a situation where there is a lion, for example, and the wildebeest have spotted it, what they'll often do is a sort of a <laughs> sound. I don't know how accurate that was, but it's as close. What was that? Did anyone else see a head pop up over the left there? Is there a lion there? Should I imagine that? Did anyone else see the head on the left? I saw a bird, but I thought I saw a head pop out of the bank. I did see lions on the river cameras earlier, but not at this crossing, but one not too far away. Let's just keep an eye on that. I can't quite work out if I imagine that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not 100% sure, and unfortunately we're on the northern end of Maine North, which means that... We only have a long distance view of the gathering wildebeest. Let's just see if I can spot anything. I can't work out if I if I'm going completely mad. Is that a hmm? I'm desperately trying to see. I think I'm going to stay at this position. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay and watch these wildebeest. Earlier, I narrated, I can't remember if I narrated the crossing or if I was just looking. I think I was just looking because the crossing was already halfway through. And I was so distracted by the wildebeest climbing up onto the opposite ends of the bank that when I returned the camera to where they'd originated from, I'd completely missed the lion kill right out in the open. And I got some serious death stares from people who are in here with me for messing that one up so I think I'll stick there for now uh, we were talking about warning each other of danger I don't know whether any of you have ever watched that YouTube animation of the wildebeest gathering on the crossing and the, the one is trying to convince the other one without speech but with just little speech bubbles that the log that they're looking at is in fact a crocodile but I cannot help but see that every time I witness one of these crossings. That's what's going through my head the entire time. Log, crocodile. Log, crocodile. Ah, oh, now apparently, Ta how funny is that? Tara's on the same page and I'm so sad that I'm missing her while she's at Juma. I would have loved to see her again and I hope she's having a fantastic time. I did see the mouse running away from the, oh, the lion running into the, no. The mouse running into the lion and terrifying the lion sighting, which is absolutely hilarious. So it seems as though she's been having some good luck. Well, apparently Tara was hoping that I'd seen that animation. I have. It's hilarious. And I had to laugh when I saw that somebody had put it on Brent's Facebook. I think it's the sound effects. Oh, there's a yellow-billed stalk that just crossed in front at the bottom left of your screen. I'm reluctant to follow it though in case I miss a lion popping out. There's something in the wildebeest body language there. Are they looking? 
Where are you looking? Who's going to be brave enough? Here's mum and little one. You know what I find quite heartbreaking is when you end up on the opposite side of a river crossing and the poor youngsters and mothers racing up and down, calling, contact calling to each other constantly. Very sad. Poor things. Although I did witness a reunion which was relatively joyous. Mother running from, I mean it was, it was, it was like something out of a movie or a film with the female running flat out from one side and the baby running flat out from the other side and then coming together with great relief and then the baby immediately having a chance to suckle. Maybe it was water that I saw splashing. Or maybe there's a hippo there hiding on the... Maybe it's a hippo breathing out because I just saw a little bit of spray there. Whoops, sorry. I hope you're not prone to motion sickness. There's a slight lag on this camera. Now, Mercedes, here's the confusing thing about the crossings. I think it might have been a hippo that I saw. Here's the confusing things about the crossings. So Mercedes' question is about when do they next cross back or do they stay there for good? Sometimes you get crossings going in the opposite direction. So during the migration, it all becomes a little bit confusing. There's rain on one side of the reserve, then there's rain on the other side of the reserve, and the grass is a little bit greener for a little bit longer. So the... I think it is a hippo. The wildebeest and the zebra do move backwards and forwards, so there's no saying. One wildebeest, one individual might go across the river and not cross it again until in another five months' time, when it's time to migrate back in the same direction that they've come from. Or it might move backwards and forwards several times over the river. It's impossible to say for certain. But they do often cross backwards. Which seems so pointless, doesn't it? Running that gauntless, gauntlet more often than necessary. See, the wildebeest looking for the crocodiles. Riti, the herd doesn't really have a head. So Riti was wondering if the head of the herd will forge across the river first, risking life and limb for the rest of the group. It doesn't really work like that. Remember, this is made up of, this herd is not one unit of wildebeest. It's, it's several different units all clustered together. And so it either happens to be the bravest wildebeest that jumps in, or it happens to be the one that's been pushed so hard from behind by the other wildebeest that it's kind of had to either jump in or fall in. Oh, there's a little bit of wildebeest action at the back. And one male that's looking in the wrong direction off to chase a rival. So no, it's not the head of the herd, although I think um, it would be something interesting to see what the head of the herd would have to say. Okay, we're going to sit patiently and wait to see whether or not these bullies decide to take the plunge while they bumble about on this side of the river. Let's go all the way back to South Africa where Byron is doing some bumbling of his own.